The state's new abortion law is presenting a lot of challenges for not only organizations that offer abortion services, but also those organizations that offer resources to women seeking help. SB 8 bans abortion after cardiac activity is detected, typically around six weeks. It does not make exceptions for victims of rape or incest. The night team's John Paul Barajas with how one local organization is trying to navigate and if the new law will impact the resources it offers to women in need. A person's constitutional right to abortion is being violated. The state, it's turning its back on women with these very archaic bans. Planned Parenthood organizations and others alike are stuck trying to navigate their way through these legal obstacles and avoid lawsuits. Planned Parenthood has granted a temporary restraining order stopping certain people from suing them, at least until a hearing on Monday the 13th. Even with the limited protection, they've stopped all abortions until there's a more official ruling. The governor has made it impossible for us to continue providing abortion care given how broad SB8 is. Mara Pasada with Planned Parenthood says, in the last week before the abortion laws went into effect, abortion spiked under a tight timeline. The clinic even seeing 100 patients in one day, adding, if you need help, call. They'll provide you resources and even financial assistance if you need to leave the state. Other organizations without temporary protection still have lots of questions. We provide that transportation, even if we don't know where she's going. Are we liable for that? Are we liable because of the counseling that we're providing? Family Violence Prevention Services, an organization in Bear County that doesn't provide abortions, only resources for family violence victims, is still concerned they could find themselves in a legal battle. Despite that, they'll continue to help while monitoring how the law is implemented. We have a moral contract with the state, with the nation, with the city, but above all with the victims. Another way organizations are trying to work around the law is by helping women get abortions outside of state lines. Their interpretation is they're not breaking the law because the law refers to helping women get an abortion in Texas, which they wouldn't be doing. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.